On this episode of Bass to Billfish, Peter Miller takes three generations of anglers fishing in Destin, Florida. Seven-year-old Max, his father Andy, and Max's grandfather Don. Max, would you teach your dad how to fish all of a sudden? Joining him on the trip is Captain Sid Little and pro NFL player Jarrett Johnson. Woo! That's what we came here to do, right? With this powerhouse crew. There you go, bud. Yeah, yeah, Max. Peter plans on giving Max the adventure of a lifetime. Yeah, yeah baby! Yeah. Nice. Woo! Florida, the fishing capital of the world. Oh, yes! With incredible fishing around every corner. Yes, set it! This is truly an angler's paradise. <laughs> Join Peter Miller as he travels the state in search of big fish and shares his adventures with guests from around the globe. Oh my God. <laughs> from freshwater to saltwater, ocean to Everglades. Oh, yeah. Join him for a fishing experience like no other. Yeah. <laughs> this is Florida's Baskerville Billfish with Peter Miller, presented by Yellowfin and by Visit Florida. Hi, my name is Maxwell and I am seven years old. I live in Overland Park, Kansas. I want to be on Bass to Billfish because it is always sunny and there is fish that you cannot catch in Kansas City that you can catch in Florida. About three years ago, I got an email from a woman named Emily Coughlin whose son Max was a huge fan of the show. He's been talking about Bass to Billfish since he was about five years old, six years old. Max would do all these beautiful drawings. His mom would scan them and email them to me. And from that moment on, we became kind of like pen pals. Two years later, here he is on the set of Basta Billfish. My home away from home here and up in Destin, Bass Pro Shops. For this episode, we were up in Destin, Florida. We got our first episode with a three generational group. We got Grandpa, Don, we got Dad, Andy, and we have eight-year-old Max, who's a huge fan of the show. And uh, they're coming from the airport right now to meet me at Bass Pro Shops here in Destin. Went in there a little early before Max was gonna be arriving and I had to pick up some reels, I got some line. The guys were unbelievable in that store, helping me, explaining the fishery. And then the off-colored water? Yeah. You might wanna try a darker bait, get a better profile. All I was waiting for at that point was Max to come walking in the door. Max! <laughs> What's up? All of a sudden, here he comes with his entourage. How you doing, buddy? I need a hug, I need a hug. Come on, baby. <laughs> How you doing, man? I already knew that I was gonna have a really good time. I can just tell. It's nice to meet you. You too. You're on Bass to Billfish. I was thinking my dream has come true and I was just super excited. Do you want to fish for like a little bit during the day or like as much as possible? Uh, as much as possible. <laughs> That's what we talk about on Bass to Billfish. That's how we do it. I gave Max a gift card. There you go. $250. And he was off like a rocket. That gift card, I can't forget. I am very excited. You are? You're making my day, buddy. We're going to have a good trip. I gave him the gift card and his two little brothers came up and say, said, Max, Max, well, can you buy something for me? He goes, yeah, sure, I'll buy something for you. Nice kid. You need a rod for it, or? No, I don't. You got one? I have something like this. Yeah, that's the Johnny Morris guitar, that's really light. I was just so impressed with the guys there working at Bass Pro. The uh, manager of the store and the guys that helped Max uh, walked him around and showed him all the merchandise and stuff that he could buy. It made quite an impression on me. Max's big purchase at Bass Pro Shops was a beautiful tackle box, and he alluded to me that maybe I should purchase a new tackle box as well because he thought my orange box was subpar. <laughs> my tackle box? You don't like my orange tackle box? I'll give you my old one. <laughs> You're gonna give me your old one, which is better than my tackle box? Yeah. And I told him, I don't think so, Max. You gotta stick with what works. I love that tackle box. I'm so proud of my tackle box. For this episode, we had co-captains. We had Sid Little from Little Lucky Charters. 
Now we also had a celebrity captain, which is Jarek Johnson of the San Diego Chargers, and he supplied the 36 yellow fin with triple marks on the back for this episode. Does it get any better than this? No. No. Are you ready? Yeah. You want to crank it up? Sure. Good to be able to fish with an NFL player on his boat, I mean, that was kind of like an added bonus to yeah, everything. That was great. So. All right, turn that one all the way. One time. There you go. The crank. That's half the battle is getting the boat to crank. So it was the perfect combination of talent, brains, Sid with the looks, Jarrett with the muscles. I mean, we had a perfect trio going. Bye. See you at like 7 o'clock at night. The excitement for our morning of fishing was palatable. Max was very focused. He wanted to get on the boat and get it done. We were kind of fired up because we didn't know what to expect. You know, we were like, let's, let's go get it. Let's go. I was ready. One of the most important things is having live bait. Hey guys. How you doing? In Destin, they have a couple of live bait guys that are out here, and you go and buy scoops. So we pull up, Sid's like, can we get a 60 shot? And he dumped 300 cigar minnows into our well with three scoops of his big net, and we were off. All right, thank you. Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. Whoa, Max. Max caught the first fish. Keep winding, you're getting close. Oh, look at that. You got a trigger. Hey, your dad's got one too. I mean, those things pull. Nice red snapper. Don, you got a nice one? Vermillions make people happy. Good job, Max. Thanks. Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller is brought to you by Visit Florida. Your Florida side is calling. NTV, Tire Kingdom, Merchants. That's all you need. Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Ray Marine by Fleer. Go hunting underwater. He's on Best to Build Fish. Peter Miller is in North Florida with his guests, Max, Andy, and Don. Hey, Don, nice, nice to meet you. After gearing up at Bass Pro Shops. I am very excited. You're making my day, buddy. We're gonna have a good trip. The gang met up with Captain Sid Little and guest captain Jared Johnson of the San Diego Chargers. Yeah. You wanna crank it up? Sure. All right, turn that one all the way. That's half the battle getting the boat to crank. Now they get ready to head offshore. For this episode, we stayed at an amazing rental house called Heart of Destin, and the owner, Sally, welcomed us in to this house that slept 20 people. Right on the water, big dock, boat house. We were able to slide the boat right up to the house. It was the absolute perfect situation. And we've never done a show where we had the crew and the guests and myself and our entire group in one place. And it was really, really nice. We really enjoyed ourselves. Oh, the house was great. Plenty of bedrooms, full kitchen. Uh, but being close to water, you know, that dock was great, so the boat we were on was right there. You know, it was better than just staying in a kind of a boring old hotel, you know. So Jarrett took us to this spot about 19 miles away. All right, y'all ready to get on it? Yeah, Sid, why don't you tell us what the plan is for, you know, taking care of the tackle and how we're going to do everything. All right, uh, as far as whenever we bring them up, fish or no fish, we want to reel that weight up to the tip. Well, Sid did a great job of kind of letting us know kind of the technique. You want to take it up nice and easy, like Sid's saying, get it right to the tip, and that way it doesn't swing or hit anybody or hit the boat. You keep all your teeth. Yeah, we don't want to lose our teeth because we just had them veneered, look. <laughs> we're so used to bass fishing where you got to set the hook and everything, and Sid did a really good job of, of saying, let the fish kind of take the hook. You know, you'll feel a couple tugs and then it'll kind of set the hook itself. So he did kind of a great job kind of preparing us for that. What do you think? Yeah. All right. I'm ready. Perfect. We set up in the first spot and Max caught the first fish. Hold on tight. Whoa, Max. There you go. Now pull up and wind down. Now you got it. I was impressed by the way it bited for the size of the fish. I was very impressed with that. Keep winding. You're getting close. <laughs> you can sit down, it's perfect. Max is just nice and smooth. He's got it all down. He's, he's a really unbelievable fisherman. Oh, I think I see him. Keep it coming. Oh, look at that. You got a trigger. Is that your first trigger? Yeah. Hey, your dad's got one too. And then right away, his dad hooked up. 
you kind of think you know what to expect, but until you actually get that first fish on, I mean, those things pull. Nice red snapper. Good job. Max's dad caught the first red snapper. He fought kind of like uh, he was a little smaller, and then he shows up like a nice little chunky thing, huh? The red snapper out of season. Say goodbye. Bye. There he goes. Max landed the first fish, and then Andy caught the second fish. Grandpa was feeling a little lonesome. You know, I've seen enough shows that I semi knew what to expect. Oh, you caught your grandpa. He's a keeper. But I've never been sport fishing. It took me a little bit of uh, learning. I was working with Max in the back of the boat and coaching him a little bit, and I looked over and saw his grandpa, Don, hooked up. Oh, Don, that's a, that's a nice one. I hooked one. I, I think the first time I, I jerked it out of his mouth. Oh! All right, get you another one. It's instinct from bass fishing. I mean, you want to set the hook, and that's not the way to catch this, these fish. Your uh, grandpa's working over there. Once I finally had one hooked, it took a while to get it up, and it was a great fight. He's never fished in salt water, which was kind of cool. So here he was, rod doubled over, and he's fighting his first ever saltwater fish, which is really, really neat. Don, you got a nice one? It was a vermilion snapper, I think. All right. Vermilions make people happy. Good job, Max. Thanks, Grandpa. Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. Fish on! Get him! Whoa, that's it, Max. You're, you're sport fishing. You talk about good eating. This could be the best one of the day. Wow, that cooler's looking nice. And all of a sudden. There you go, bud. Yeah, Max. Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller is brought to you by Yeti Coolers. Wildly stronger. Keep ice longer. Mercury, number one on the water. Yellowfin, choice of champions. The Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are. Closed captioning for Bass to Billfish has been provided by Visit Florida. There you go, now pull up and wind down. Peter Miller is fishing in Destin, Florida with his guests, Max, Andy, and Don. Guided by Captain Sid Little and pro NFL player, Jarrett Johnson, Max and his family have already caught dinner for the evening. For millions, make people happy. But while the fishing is great, there is a lot more to see in Destin, even when you're not on the water. Destin is so rich in history when it comes to fishing. They have a wonderful museum called the Destin History and Fishing Museum. And we decided to just stop in there and take a look around. Welcome. Hi, I'm Peter. Hi, Peter. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. The associate director that gave us a tour, she really knew a lot about the history of Destin. Uh, talked about one of the fishing tournaments that they have coming up. The rodeo began way back in 1948. It's the entire month of October. It was a neat experience to kind of learn about, you know, the, the local culture. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We got a chance to talk about why Destin is the way it is, why the fishing is so good, and we also got a chance to talk about the billfish. If you were to do this, on a young one, your hand would be sliced like a razor blade. And that's something I know a lot about. I was able to tell them about the swordfish, the blue marlin, the sailfish, the white marlin, where they're located, how to fish for them. Get uh, well over a thousand pounds. It was a great place to go and spend some time and learn about the resources here. Yeah, baby, whoa, that's it, Max, you're, you're sport fishing. The bottom fishing in Destin is just not one species. You never know what you're gonna catch. Good job, buddy. Vermilion, right? Yeah. Nice. We started catching vermilion snapper, which are phenomenally good table fare. I think we're gonna keep that one, guys. We caught at least a dozen. Hooked up everywhere. Good job, Don. Nice one, Don. Thank you. Nice. Get him, Dave. Ooh, nice red snapper. Yeah. They're getting bigger, huh? 
Alright. <laughs> We're so spoiled now. Snapper. We have a trigger, the red snapper, vermilion snapper. We get another bite, it's fighting really hard. Oh, look at that! Giant porgy or something? Which is phenomenal table fare. You talk about good eating, this could be the best one of the day. We threw it in the Yeti. Wow, that cool is looking nice. And it was on to the next fish. Oh, vermilion. Another porgy. Yes, another vermilion. Another red snapper. Nice. You're making it look easy. I think there was a point where we all kind of forgot about Max. Fish on. Get him. Get him. <laughs> And we all kind of looked over like, oh, hey, I guess Max is just doing this all by himself. Got oh. it. Nice. Every time I drop down there, I expect it to catch a fish. Look at this, Max. Would you teach your dad how to fish all of a sudden? I think we caught eight or nine different species of fish. It was like one of those perfect days. All right, swing them over. Amberjack. Oh, he's huge. And then Amberjacks start coming over the side, left and right. I got an Amberjack. AJ. That's Amory. Yeah? And we started catching these smaller looking amberjacks, were called amberlines. Yeah, amberlines you can keep. We kept a few of the amberlines, which are very good eating. By 11 o'clock, I think the guys were exhausted. Huh? Look at that one. Look at that thing. Woo! That's what we came here to do, right? These should be in season right now. I'd be really good if they were. He's a new, uh, new representative for uh, Snapper. Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. Looks good, Max. All of a sudden, we see... Dolphin. Oh. Mahi, mahi? Yeah. Do them, do them, do them. Yeah. We all start throwing baits at this fish. Got him. There you go, bud. Yeah, Max. <laughs> let him ride, let him ride. Yeah, me. Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller is brought to you by... Salt Life. Live salty. FWC, Florida is the fishing capital of the world. Florida Restaurant and Lodging Association, serving Florida's hospitality industry. Costa, see what's out there. Peter Miller is in North Florida with his guests, Max, Andy, and Don. After filling their Yeti cooler with porgies and vermilion snapper, Peter is hoping to get one more fish for dinner. What's going on, man? So Max has a nice red snapper on. Looks good, Max. Winding it up, he's getting it closer and closer and closer. And all of a sudden, we see... Dolphin. Oh. Mahi, mahi? Yeah. Do them, do them, do them. I have this one bottom rod with a giant weight on it, and I wind up throwing it. And as it starts to sink, the dolphin comes up, picks it up. Got him. I hooked up, and I handed the rod over to Max. Keep it going, Max. Max. Let him run, let him run. I think catching the mahi was probably my favorite because it was probably the most colorful and hard fighting fish that I reeled in. There you go, bud. Yeah, Max. He's heavy. <laughs> All right, Max, let's go around the back of the motor. Let's go around the back. Max is only eight, you know, but I mean, you seem like a pro out there after like. 10 minutes, I mean, you you knew what you were doing. He's right over here with him, he's right here behind him, he's right here with him. There's a second one. Then Max's dad hooks up with the other dolphin. Got him! Got a double header going, perfect, jumping all over. On the surface, they loved it. We're gonna have leftovers! You know, the, the snapper was great, the amberjack was great, but the mahi just was kind of like the, the cherry on top of everything, you know, it was pretty cool. Yeah, baby! This Mahi Mahi hookup reinvigorated the entire crew. Everybody was just amped up after that. There we go. Nice job. They had talked about wanting to catch a Mahi Mahi. You know, those fish look very much like your blue rag you're wearing. He's like, I want to catch one of these today. And there it was. It was like magic. What do you think, buddy? It's probably going to be the biggest fish a kid will catch on that to your fish. <laughs> After a phenomenal day of fishing, the owner of Heart of Destin Rental Home, Sally, set up an incredible catered event at her house. Can you bring that dolphin over for me, Max? I'm gonna cut this fish up right now. So I filleted the fish, gave him two big fillets. This is all the meat right here, right? We had Morningstar Catering with Chef Reese. I got some fresh Prince Edward Island mussels. I got a couple of different kinds of shrimp. 
going in there. Snow crab legs. And then this is what we got coming off the boat. Fresh mahi just caught. We're just dumping that in. 15, 20 minutes, we're gonna be ready to eat. Hors d'oeuvres, candles going, wine, champagne. You know, it's like, can the day get any better? What is going on? What is this? Whoa, that is unbelievable. He presents me with a hand-painted, beautiful picture, Basta Bill fish with a sailfish underwater with the waves. Max's favorite thing to do is paint with his gramps, and so they, uh, they wanted to paint it. That is beautiful. Thank you so much. Come on, bring it in, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. That's beautiful. After a long, long day on the water and have that kind of meal waiting for you was second to none. But being able to do all of that with my son, you know, and my father-in-law, it's such a great experience. And we had three generations. I mean, that's great. It was just an awesome, awesome time. Meeting Peter in person was really cool and catching the dolphin and fish with the NFL football player. I was just super excited. I mean, that was his dream to be on the show and, and not many people get to accomplish their dream. The trip was pro it's probably going to be one of my favorite things I'll ever do in my life. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. If you'd like to see more photos, videos, unseen footage, and to interact with us, please check us out on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. And also, you can check us out on my blog at Basta Billfish with Peter Miller. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you out on the water.